Hey what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi hello I'm Lydia and if you are new here let's let's where did that come from if you're new here make sure you hit the subscribe button turn notifications on and while you're down there give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out today we are doing a get ready with me obviously I've already done the get ready with me because I got my makeup on but yes we're doing a get ready with me so yeah enjoy So we're going to start this with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. So the first question I've got is, have you ever been on depot? How are you? Hope you're doing well. So yes, I've been on a depot. I was on Chloe Pixel. Um, personally, I reacted quite badly to the depot and I wouldn't recommend it <laughs> Siren that's the foundation done and yes I keep it in the box it was expensive so I'm keeping it in the box <laughs> Now I'm going to wear eyeshadow today, so I'm going to do my mascara, which is the Damn Girl by Too Faced. The next question is ducks, yes or no? Obviously yes. <laughs> the next question is what's your favourite makeup brand? Honestly, it would have to be Urban Decay. Again, I keep it in the box because I don't want anything to happen to it. Next, for eyeliner, we're using the L'Oreal Paris Infibirl Gel Automatic Eyeliner. I only got this yesterday. The next question is, what's your opinion on giving labels to people? So, I think that people get labels because they need them in order to know what to treat. Because someone with bipolar, say, isn't offered therapies like DBT. I'd say labels are given for a reason. And that reason often is that it needs to know what they're treating. So say you get diagnosed with BPD that opens up pathways to DBT, CBT any of the behavioural therapies someone with BPD gets offered therapy whereas someone with bipolar gets offered medication because that's what's best used to treat the mental health condition the next question I've got is does CBT does the next question I've got is does CBD or your work for you? Now I've tried CBD in the past, hoping that it would help my anxiety. Honestly, it just made me sleepy. It sent me to sleep. Which I guess helped with the anxiety because I was asleep, but it didn't do for me what I thought it would do. So personally, I don't use it anymore. And my face is not recognized by my face ID. The last question is, What's one thing you wish you could change about yourself? Having mental health issues. I would get rid of them in a heartbeat. So yeah, that's all I've got for this video. And my makeup routine isn't very complicated. I don't wear tons of makeup. Oh, I hate this lipstick. But it will. Well, it goes, so we'll work with that. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.